Hey guys, what's up? Shao Style here, and uh, I recently made a video, uh, me going into detail about uh, my experience of school and recently getting out of debt from a damn student loan that I had since 2002, right? However, the video kind of dragged on for like 15 minutes, and even though uh, yeah, I really got into what I was saying, I just felt that, you know, the video is just way too long, so I just made it unlisted, and if you want to see it, then I have an annotation so you guys can check it out or I'll put a link in the descriptions but pretty much the main thing I wanted to say in that video is uh, school nowadays I feel is not a uh, good choice if you want to go into a career that's art related um, in my case you know uh, I wanted to get into like you know filmmaking so I did go to school um, recently and I got my associate in arts degree However, um, I wasn't doing that well financially, I'll admit, and I was able to take, you know, advantage of, uh, you know, government programs, you know, school programs that was available that way, you know, I didn't have to pay for school, so I was able to get my associate degree without getting myself into debt again. But back in 2002, uh, actually 2000, I took a uh, two-year, you know, trade school program to get my graphic design you know degree and you know that pretty much has left me pretty with a bitter experience in the school life mainly because uh, that school itself I mean the teachers were great the people I met there are great however everything was always rushed everything was uh, two months at a time meaning that when they started to teach you about Final Cut Pro you know that would be like two months of that then once the two months are over, then they move you over to another, you know, software like Cinema 4D. Then, like, you know, it'd be two months of that. And then, like, yeah, it was basically only two months at a time. So, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that if you are, are interested in, in filmmaking and are planning to, you know, go to school for filmmaking, really weigh out your options. I mean, if you can go to school and not get yourself in debt go for mainly the uh, chance to meet people you know make new friends you know meet people that are also interested in filmmaking and then try to create your network uh, try to make that your priority if you do go to school however if you decide to go to a you know one of those two-year tech schools for film uh, I think you're just wasting your money and you're just draining yourself in debt just uh, let me put this into perspective you know I think a fully decked out uh, a functional red camera, you know, costs thirty thousand dollars. That's basically where you're gonna be end up, you know, getting yourself in debt with when you go to a film school. Robert Rodriguez, he made a Marachi for, you know, seven thousand dollars, and you know that launched his career. So, Jesus, you know, how many movies can you make out of, you know, with thirty grand? You know, you know, you can probably you travel to another part of the world to make a documentary on something, or you can invest in yourself to create your own little studio, right? You can have a good computers, good monitors, you know. Uh, you know, buy your software, you know, all that good stuff, you know, to be a legit business. Straight out, I wouldn't suggest you going to a film school. I think it's a waste of time and money. But uh, like I said, if you can go, like I did, to a community college, take a film course, do it to make, you know, new friends and, you know, make networks, you know, try to learn as much as you can through other people, right? Don't worry so much about the paper itself. What are, even if you're not going to film school, you do your research on what, you know, area of field you want to study because yeah being in depth for as long as I have it was really not that great I feel like it really helped me back and progressing financially because all my money that I've been making for you know has been going to towards uh, my student loans to pay off you know so you know I had to get a second job just so I can start paying that thing off and you know it's been kind of tough I was, I was taking a night shift at a, a local Walgreens I took a graveyard shift and with all the money that I was making there you know, went straight to my damn student loan so I was doing that for like the past you know five months but before that you know again you know I was limiting myself to you know a lot of fun you know I didn't go to shows I didn't go to movie theaters I stopped buying video games I stopped buying music CDs and stopped buying movies I just really you know cut out as much expenses as I can just so I can pay out my student loan so yeah, it's like I said, it's really do your research and uh, yeah, be careful. Do get yourself in depth because it's not worth it, right? So, anyways, this is Shao Style and peace.